Okay, so, <clears throat> right, prayer. And my experiences with prayer, I've got, I remembered what I want to talk about. It was actually funny, funny enough, um, yawning. And um, so, I mean, we do in this group, uh, we have a number of things which we do with group practices on, which is to place something to God's infinite light and love and pray for miracles and transcendence. So whatever the, whatever the problem is, to put it into God's infinite light and love, pray for miracles and transcendence, or to cancel my belief. I cancel my belief that, I cancel my belief that um, I'm exhausted. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. So that's the way to cancel the baggage of the ego. You know? And it, what it does is it, it deletes, it deletes the limit, limits which are held within the ego, like limiting thoughts or limiting programs and it just it just smashes them into the light over and over again I mean, the course does talk about this like the importance of you know I'm just paraphrasing but it does show the importance of you know to break a belief you have to have the repetition you know just to say if you've got a strong thought that's recurring like um, uh, like with the illnesses like I've got kidney failure or I've got high blood pressure like one I cancel, or one I put it into God's infinite life, and it's not going to delete that thought, which is manifesting that limiting, limited program. So to do it over and over again. And the Course in Miracles is very, very good in um, teaching, you know, uh, eventually doing it every 10 minutes. You know, do that, put the lesson in every 10 minutes. Not to beat yourself up if you forget, but try your best. You know, that discipline. So... Those are some of my favourites, cancelling my beliefs, or lesson 14, like God did not create exhaustion, so it's not real. God did not create overwhelm, uh, God did not create cancer, so it's not real, or I cancel my belief in cancer. Or I like the one we do in the group, which is to put whatever the problem is into God's infinite light and love and pray for miracles and transcendence, which I find to be very powerful. But what I've been finding recently, and I wanted to share, is like, um, and the thing is, I, I you know, I know when I'm, I feel like I know when I'm doing good prayer because I'm starting to get feedback <clears throat> from the universe, which is yawning. Uh, so, um, so when it's like when I, when things are, and I can feel like when I start yawning, I can see things are shifting in the material world quite more quickly. I don't know if this makes sense, but it's like, an, it hasn't happened for many, many years. Like I pray and not know, not have any feedback from grace, like, is this prayer really, how, how good is this prayer? But now I can start to get like a gauge, an internal gauge, which is the level of yawning I do when I do a prayer. So I might say, I place my father's in, uh, and I've been getting a lot of yawning. So my father's in hospital and I'm just trying, and I'm getting this sort of feedback gauge of just trying different beliefs. Like I can say, I place my father's infection into God's infinite light and love. I place my father's cracked ribs into God's infinite light and love, pray for miracles and transcendence. And with one, version I'll yawn more than with the other version. So it's like I go and then I, I kind of know intuitively that that's the version that's more powerful. I do believe, I mean the Course in Miracles, actually this ties in with the Course, Course in Miracles gives very brilliant guidance on this. I agree with the Course in Miracles but there's a bit more. Like Lesson 14 says don't be general, be specific. It says like don't, God, don't say God did not create illness it's not real when you're suffering with, I don't know, brain cancer. Say, God did not create brain cancer, so it's not real. The more specific you are, because the programs, you see, we pick up programs from the collective consciousness. So it's, 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 a, bit, it's a bit like this, thank you. It's a bit like when someone, if someone says to you, um, uh, I don't know, like, um, gout, you know, you just have to listen to that belief and take it on board and believe it. And then what happens is it picks up the whole sub-programs from the collective and you're able to manifest specifically that program. So you want to be able to cancel, I can't, God did not create or cancel gout, I'm an infinite being, or God did not create gout, and also the sub-programs, and then you can delete that out of you. Because the, you know, if you have infinite light and you have limited programs in front of infinite light, that's going to manifest. So it's going to come in. So, so just recently I was doing, for the first few years, and all my illnesses cleared, doing it without having yawning as a feedback. But now it's this thing of like, 
you know, there's optimal ways to pray. Like, what do I put into God's infinite light and love? What do I cancel? And now I'm starting to get feedback. So I'm just like, whatever I, how you with. I just say, put it out there for people that um, try different versions of prayers, permutations of prayers, like, uh, and see if you get some kind of intuitive, whether it's yawning, whether it's a, a physical sense of what feels you're clearing faster uh, around it. So, um, yeah, so those are, the, those are the prayers I do. Also, if you can go to a group uh, where there's group prayer, that's very, very powerful. If you've got people that will pray, uh, you know, some people will just pray for you when you're in trouble, so that's pretty handy. In places like this you find them, so I'm very grateful for that. So, um, and uh, so it's the more, and it also reminds me of, um, I think the more you try and clear yourself and devote yourself to, to God, the more God gives you tools and guidance and intuition. So it, what I found is like in the early days, you're praying blindly, but as you keep praying, it's like God gives you a bit more sort of help to go on the right track. You know, you might find someone, or you can just try other things like muscle testing or see if you yawn or whatever comes to you. So, 